This is Colonel Slanders coming to tell you some good things about the chickens. Make them welcome, folks. I was hoping that that young lady would play the chicken reel. <laughs> yes, I'm, it's glad to be here tonight. I'm so happy to be here in Arkansas, a, a state that's famous and calls for its own chicken. Of course, I represent the great state of Kentucky, and I'm here today. And of course, I've come a long way from Kentucky. Well, if you think about it, I've actually come a lot farther than that. Uh, but I thought I would talk a little bit about chicken tonight and to tell, share some family stories that folks have not heard in many, many years. Um, I was a young child on a chicken farm in Kentucky. My father raised chickens, and so did my mother. <laughs> Early on, we got involved in genetic engineering. Uh, and we developed a chicken with three legs. We all like drumsticks. Everybody, everybody here likes drumsticks. Yeah. yeah. That's right. So we developed a three-legged chicken. It worked out very well. It took a long time to get the genetic engineering worked out right. We finally had that three-legged chicken. We grew thousands of those three-legged chickens. But do you know we never found out how those chickens tasted? Because we couldn't catch them. <laughs> Now, when I was a young lad on the farm in Kentucky, we lived out on a out on a mountaintop, a little mountaintop, and this was in the days of the REA. You all remember the REA, the Rural Electric Cooperative, where they brought wires out to wire our houses where we had never had electricity before, and strung out to our little mountain cabin with little old poles with wire on them. And back in those days, the electricity was Oh, it was intermittent. It would come on and go off at any time. We had one bare bulb hanging in our kitchen. One Sunday, the preacher came over to have Sunday dinner with us, and my mother cooked up a great batch of chickens. Oh, my gosh, wonderful chicken. She came out and laid the platter out on the middle of the table, and there were seven beautiful pieces of chicken. And, of course, there was my family of five, my mother, my father, my two sisters and myself, and the preacher, which made six. And we all got us a piece of that good chicken, and we ate that chicken, and my goodness, it was good. But of course, we all got done. We were all still a little hungry, and there was one piece of chicken out there on the platter. We all looked at that piece of chicken. No one knew what to do. Just then, the lights went out. <laughs> And in the dark was a piercing scream. And then the lights flickered and came back on. And out in the middle of that table was the preacher's hand with five forks stuck in it. I remember another time that the preacher came for dinner. This was a different preacher. That one never came after that. A different preacher came out and my goodness, we had the chicken. My mama brought up platter after platter. She had fried chicken, baked chicken, boiled chicken. Chicken, we stuffed that preacher. We all filled up with chicken. That preacher looked like he was going to explode the chicken. We finally got done and we went out on the porch and sat on the front porch. Around the corner of the house, come a chicken. And it staggered around the corner of the porch and its feathers was all gone and it was covered with pustules. Boys and oh, and the preacher said, my goodness, what's wrong with that chicken? And my daddy said, I don't know, preacher, but they're dying faster than we can eat them. <laughs> now, here I am giving these chicken stories, and y'all are waiting for a chicken joke, I suppose. So let me ask you all a question. What crosses the road, rolls in the dirt, Crosses the road again and rolls in the dirt on the other side. Does anyone know? It's a dirty double crossing chicken. <laughs> so I will leave you with that tonight. And I will leave you with this, my watchword, which is I only buy the best chicken and I steal the rest. Tonight's <laughs> song, she plays the piano and guitar and the fiddle. What can't she do? And we're going to dedicate this song to, uh, to uh, Colonel Sanders, who was out here a little while ago. It's really nice to see him here. So, 
we dedicate this to him and to all you folks from the great state of Kentucky. A song written in 1850 by Stephen Foster and still a great song today. My old Kentucky home. Kentucky home for my old Kentucky home 